funniest pets and people. A monkey makes a splash. The guy says, lunch is on me. A dapper athlete scores a perfect 10. A diving dog gets a mouthful. A striking young lady. And a parakeet who's well trained. It's all coming up next. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. The folks in these next clips all have gifts. And they're sharing them with you. This talented Simeon has decided to show off by taking a few laps in the pool. Which is fine. But the lifeguards draw the line at letting him in a jacuzzi. Fishing. It takes a steady hand and plenty of patience. In fact, you can sit in a boat for an entire day and never... Well, I am clearly doing it all wrong. All right, I'm Blair. Hi, Blair. Blair. Hi, Brett. Hi, Brett. I'm eating bowl of cereal out of my chest. Okay. <laughs> Folks, I don't care what kind of cereal you use for this trick. The bottom line is these guys are a couple of flakes. <laughs> At least clean up as a snap. Just toss Blair in the dishwasher and you're good to go. <laughs> this talented doggy is what is known as a triple threat. He sings, he plays keyboard, and he dances. You know, when he's not singing and playing keyboard. Velma has suffered from terrible allergies for years, but she's finally found a solution. She's trained her talented dog, Rex, to fetch her tissues. <laughs> when do you think it'll dawn on Velma that she's allergic to Rex? <laughs> the owner calls this talent, Dog Catches Frisbees. We're more inclined to call it Dog Cleans Yard. I hope you RSVP'd, because it's party time. Okay, if you've ever been to a party, you know how a piñata works. One good smack and treats for everybody, right? Wait, isn't candy supposed to pour out of his head? Probably want to crack up? <laughs> then check out these bird brains. Here's some birds heading upstairs, but I get the feeling they're forgetting something. What could it be? The mail? No. Bird seed? Hmm. Oh, I know what they forgot. They can fly! You go, birdie! Shake your tail feather. And if you don't have enough of them, then you can make your tail feather. Don't worry, honey. Nobody knows it's a weave. <laughs> if you want a cat but your landlord won't allow it, Polly here is the next best thing. And if you want the full cat experience, Polly can even be trained to act aloof and scratch up your furniture. But what if you want a dog? Hey, don't worry, we got you covered. <laughs> Aboard. Next stop, the cage. All passengers headed for the cage have your tickets ready. An attendant will be by to assist you. If you're not headed for the cage, please note the next stop is the nest. If you're headed for the nest, please say, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Prepare for deboarding. And now for his first trick, the great Birdini will escape from his cage. 
And now for his first trick. The very good Birdini will escape from his cage. Oh dear. And now for his final trick. Birdini will stay put. Oh, this bird had it all planned. He got up at 6 a.m. Today was the day he was finally gonna do it. And then the unthinkable. He realized that he had lost his car keys. <laughs> Too bad for you, early bird. Today, someone else is gonna get the worm. <laughs> Martha and Polly loved to play peekaboo for two reasons. One, it brought them closer together. And two, they were more evenly matched than when they played word games. <laughs> the second bird is about to introduce them to a new game. Time for Funniest Pets and People Unleashed. In baseball, you need to keep your eye on the ball. In hockey, you need to keep your eye on the puck. In fishing, you should definitely keep your eye on the fish. Hey, don't worry, guys. You caught him once. You'll catch him again. little girl and a bowling ball. What's gonna happen here? A, she's gonna drop the ball on his toe. B, she's gonna slip and fall on her bottom. Or C, she's gonna bowl a strike. The answer? Well, this was a trick question. I guarantee you never thought this would happen. Whoa, Samantha! Hey, looks like a 7-10 split. Everyone likes parties, but for Rex, the fun doesn't start until everyone goes home. If you think he's good at cleaning up balloons, you should see him put away the cake. Winter, it's the most wonderful time of the year. But it does have its dangers. The snowball to the face, the toboggan spill. Oh, and of course, the dreaded sled-on collision. Hey, are you okay? He was born mild-mannered Peter Barker, but after a radioactive spider bite, he transformed into the amazing spider dog. All the laziness of a dog with all of the strength and agility of a spider. Cats be warned. This is one doggy you can't avoid by climbing a tree. Ah, friendship. There's nothing quite like the bond shared by young men growing up. Ooh, that's got a fur. <laughs> Let's see that again in slow motion. These guys are so close, they'll even drive each other to the emergency room. For a lot of people, lunch is a break from work. Harold, however, works harder during lunch than he does the rest of the day. Good thing he's having carrots. This wouldn't work quite so well with yogurt. Boy, Rex has a lot of stress in his life, and that's why tetherball is the perfect sport for him. The ball is the exact same size and shape as the mailman's head. Spike is a new rare breed. He's half border collie, half kangaroo. She's preparing his favorite meal, kibble and Vegemite. Coming up, a good use for a bowl haircut. And a horse gets a sneaky snack. Beautiful 
places, open spaces, it's the great outdoors. Oh, how cute. They trained this little guy to go down the slide. Oh, and look at that, the doggy's doing it too. That's adorable. This screwy squirrel has it all mixed up. He lives in the great outdoors. I mean, there's a beautiful tree right there, and yet he'd rather climb on some puny rope. I must think he's a person. I'll bet he'd pass up a pile of nuts just to eat a cheeseburger. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Boo Boo come over. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Baloo come over. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Yogi come over. Trigger always wondered what the grass tasted like on the other side of the fence. Well, he finally figured out a way to taste it, and it tastes just like the grass on his side of the fence. Um. Hey, it's Tom and Tom, the only Siamese twin turkeys in the world. Feast your eyes as they carefully navigate the barnyard, each step a modern miracle. And Siamese twin turkeys can mean only one thing. Some lucky family is gonna have the best Thanksgiving ever. This horse has been indoors all day at the horse show, prancing for judges and high-stepping around the corral. But when he gets home, he shakes off those blue ribbons and just cuts loose in the mud. You go, horsey. You earned it. This moose wants to take a nap in the great outdoors. Just lie in the hammock and let his cares melt away. His biggest care of the day? Well, that would be not knowing how to get into the hammock. Take a look at America's newest hope for soccer success. As the video shows, he's got great peripheral vision and he never lets the ball go through his legs. You'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to find a player with more talent than this guy. He's not chicken. Watch Daddy. Why? What's the matter? I want to go! Why, though? Get Are you afraid your kite's going to get away? It won't. I'm crying. I want to go home. See, look at Daddy's kite isn't getting away. Time to go for a spin in some cool rides. These firemen answered a call to rescue a cat in a tree. Guess which one of the firemen vetoed it? Why pull two dogs in an inner tube? Well, because they couldn't find a place to rent eight tiny skis. You'd think it'd come naturally, but Rex still needed help learning the dog paddle. How cool is this ride? The best thing about sheep rodeo? No matter how ornery the sheep, he's still gonna make a nice sweater. Benji has a plan. Start with a tricycle, move up to a bicycle, then a unicycle by the end of the summer. Dare to dream, Benji. You've heard of Easy Rider? Well, this is Cool Rider. Heading out on his two-wheeled knife to cut a swath through this country from New York to L.A. Cool Rider is on his way to your town. Now, from a distance, this swing looks like a really cool ride. But up close... Eh, not so much. You know what 
I've got a taste for more funny videos. They say milk does a body good, but that's when you're drinking it, not when you're supplying it. And it looks like the universal rule for human children applies to pigs as well. When mom won't help out, try dad. Hey, that's a doggy door. The raccoon door is on the other side of the house. <laughs> Although this is, this is kind of cute. I think we can all agree that this is cute. All of us, that is, except the hungry dog. <laughs> Winston here is Dana's baby. She spoon feeds him when he's hungry, burps him, and attends to every detail. Sure, it's cute now, but it's going to be awkward when she signs him up for kindergarten. Here's some friendly advice. If a hungry bird asks if he can pick your brain, you say, no. You know, cat food companies would have you believe that hungry cats are finicky and have sophisticated palates. And they're right. That box is made from only the finest imported cardboard. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. Ready or not, here comes this video. Spirit, this is not your bear. It's a brand's bear. This woman thinks she's hiding her teddy bear from her dog. Now, well, let me tell you something. When your dog is six feet long and weighs 140 pounds, that's not your teddy bear. That's his teddy bear. Heck, I'm not even sure it's still your house. Coming up, here's a girl who will bend over backwards for you. And a performance by the Mormutt Tabernacle Choir. The funniest pets and people. For these next clips, we're taking it to the streets. <laughs> Frenchie was tired of being so short, so he learned to dance on his hind legs. No more being called a three inch wonder. Now Frenchie is a six inch wonder. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what's going on behind the scenes at the kennel after you drop your dogs off for the weekend? Well, now you know. <laughs> now, there is no way this dog can jump over that guy. <laughs> oh. But well, there's no way he can jump over two guys. <laughs> wow. Come on, three? Three is completely out of it. Ha <laughs> I told you. Fluffy wanted to play an instrument, and it seemed like the piano was his best choice. Wasn't his first choice, but he kept getting too much drool in his tuba. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Fellas, we all fall down. Anytime now, guys, fall down. Hello? Anyone? Play Duck, Duck, Goose. <laughs> Here's a performer who really knows how to... Uh, what's that phrase I'm looking for? Uh, <laughs> knock him... No, no, what is it? Uh, oh, I know. Bowl him over. <laughs> nice. After Kevin from HR broke his ankle in the sack race last year, the boss started looking for a new event for the company picnic. Attention all employees, 
Put down your potato salad. It's time for the musical rings competition. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Roll over. Come on, why bother with those commands when you can teach your dog something really useful? <laughs> if he could only teach his dog to play pool, this guy would never have to go out on a Friday night. Coming up, mark your calendar, because more funny is on the way. Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Can we go right to the heat of things? How about that one? How about that one? 